Hi there, and welcome to This Day in History for September 25th. September 25th is the 268th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 269th in leap years, with 97 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is earworm. (laughs) Earworm is a noun. The term can refer to the corn earworm, a caterpillar that is quite destructive to a variety of crops. I think many of us, though, think of the term earworm in this next definition, sometimes also called a brain worm. Earworm may be described as sticky music (laughs) or, or stuck song syndrome. Considered to be a common type of involuntary cognition, an earworm is a song or melody that keeps repeating in one's mind. It can be innocuous or annoying, depending on how you feel about the song. If an earworm is driving me crazy, I often just try to replace it with something else that's less annoying or easier to forget. I'm not going to suggest one right now because then that might become an earworm for you or me. (laughs) I've read that chewing gum is a way to help get rid of earworms. Apparently, the jaw movement affects or reduces musical cognition. I'll keep that in mind for the next time I can't get a song out of my head. (laughs) The word earworm, as it relates to a song stuck in your head, comes to us from German. I don't know how long the Germans had this term, but it came to English in the 1970s. Earworm. The word earworm was suggested by one of my viewers, Easy Nine, over on Odyssey, where... One of the songs of the day gave him an earworm. If you have a word you'd like us to explore in this Word of the Day section, drop it in the comments. We'll take a look at it. And with that, the Roman Senate selected Marcus Claudius Tacitus to be emperor on September 25th in the year 275. Some reports give this as the last time the Roman Senate elected an emperor, while other reports suggested that the military chose him and that this action by the Senate was merely a formality. His predecessor, Aurelian, was not a bad ruler. Pretty good ruler, in fact, but Aurelian had a reputation for being pretty strict. One of his secretaries had told a lie in a minor matter, but was afraid of what Aurelian might do if he found out. The brilliant plan of this lying secretary was to tell more and bigger lies, He forged a document listing the names of several high officials marked for execution and passed it around among his collaborators. I'm not sure if their names appeared on this fictitious list or if they were worried that he might think that they had something to do with it, but a few rather high-ranking guards of the Praetorian Guard feared punishment from the emperor, so their brilliant plan was to murder Emperor Aurelian. A good emperor, known for handing out severe punishments to corrupt officials and soldiers, Aurelian had done quite a bit of good for the empire and was taken down by corrupt officials and soldiers. But today's item is about Marcus Claudius Tacitus. Marcus Claudius Tacitus was selected as emperor after the assassination of the previous emperor Aurelius. We don't know much, if anything, about Tacitus before he was chosen to be emperor. We don't have a birthday for him. He was described as very old at the time of his election, although it's more likely that he was in his 50s. So he was elected emperor, and as soon as that was done, he asked the senators to deify Aurelian, and then arrested and executed Aurelian's murderers. Tacitus only lasted about six months as emperor, though. As we've mentioned before, in those days, the ruler led the charge, and he was on his way to defend an invasion when he died by some reports of a fever in June of 276, and by another account, assassinated. Since we don't have anything approximating a birthday for Tacitus, no idea how old he might have been when he died. Sequoia National Park was established by the United States Congress on September 25, 1890. As you might know, this park, located in California in the U.S., is famous for its giant sequoia trees. Today's song is Abracadabra by Steve Miller Band. 
Earlier in September of 1982, the song Abracadabra had reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for a week and was edged out by another song for a couple weeks and then returned to the number one spot for another week, which is where we find it on September 25, 1982. Story has it that the band had separate recording contracts in the U.S. and Europe. They'd released Abracadabra in Europe, where it did very well. Steve Miller, though, said that Capitol Records hadn't wanted to record Abracadabra. They didn't think it had hit potential. He used the song's popularity everywhere else in the world as leverage to convince Capitol Records to let him release the song in the U.S. Abracadabra by Steve Miller Band. Number 1, September 25, 1982. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called No Really. And you can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Oh, get your microphone. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> okay. Just with 202 days remaining to the end of the world. Uh, end of the year. <laughs> not, please, not the end of the world. 202 days remaining to the end of the year. Let's read that one again. <laughs> Maybe I should ask Google how to pronounce that. How do you go about pronouncing his name? Paolo. Quello. Quello. Paolo. Quello. Pretty straightforward once you know. Paolo. Quello. Quello. Google is so smart. Yep, it is. That's what it's called. All right. The tra attracting. Just read the whole thing over. You know what? Maybe we can leave that one off. <laughs> Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. I don't know. Can I get this edited? Let's find out. All right. Back to work. I think we got it this time.